In this video we're going to review the schema editor in LP360. So I've already loaded my LAS data, my raster layer. I've already actually uh, uh, defined some stockpile toes and I've already run a volume on that stockpile toe. So uh, uh, I've got my volume calculation that I wanted, but now I want to uh, maybe define the material name, uh, maybe add some additional attributes uh, that aren't added automatically when I run my uh, volumetric analysis point cloud task. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the schema ed editor. That's how we're going to uh, be able to do that. Now, uh, before I go into the schema editor, I'm going to right click on uh, my volume. Um, uh, a feature file in the table of contents. I'm going to go to Feature Analyst. So you can see uh, when we run that volume uh, for the name, it uh, just this is just what the default settings is going to create a, a default as the name. So let's say you have 20, 30, 40 stockpiles. Every name is just going to say default. Um, you can see our volume uh, column there. So that's our volume calculation. When I ran this point cloud task, I added um, some additional out output attributes, cut and fill volumes, so you can see those here. Uh, and then we have the units uh, and map units. So the units would be what we chose here is the output volume units, and the map units, of course, is the, the units for our map. So if our data set was in meters, it would show up uh, meters here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now let's say I want to add uh, some density values, or uh, I want to add a a column for a material description, something like that. So uh, let's right click on volume again. We're this time we're going to go to schema editor instead of feature analyst. Uh, you can see all those columns that we saw in the feature analyst. Uh, so let's say I want to uh, eliminate those cut and fill volumes. I was just using those for diagnostics. I'm not really interested in keeping that as a final um, uh, attribute that I want to uh, you know, save or distribute to other people. So uh, what we'll do is click on that attribute and we're going to click on the uh, X here at the top. I can also multi-select. I'm going to hold down control and multi-select that cut and fill, uh, those cut and fill attributes. So let's go ahead and remove those. It's just giving me a, a dialog warning me that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to click yes. So now we've permanently removed those attributes uh, from uh, our feature analyst, kind of, uh, from our our attributes, so uh, we'll just kind of clean that up, and uh, let's go ahead. And let's add some additional uh, new attributes here. So we might want to have one called material uh, code, maybe. You know, a lot of our customers they'll have a specific code um, that they need to uh, save uh, when they're uh, distributing their uh, volume calculations to either internally or externally with their company. Uh, so uh, we can go ahead and add a code column here. Okay. Uh, we have a name column. Uh, if Let's say for whatever reason, um, you, you see I use this material code as the name. I'm not happy with that. I want to change it. So all you'll do is select the modify properties of selected field. So I've selected the the uh, schema that I wanted to edit, and you can see here you can uh, rename it. So uh, let's say I just want it to be called a material uh, description, something like that. Click OK, and now it's going to save that uh, change that I made. Uh, one thing uh, that uh, a lot of customers do uh, uh, as far as changing schemas in LP360, you can add a density in density uh, unit columns. And the purpose of doing this, not only are you uh, defining the density of the material, uh, but we have another piece of software called Reckon. Uh, and when you import uh, 
uh, the shape file, this feature file into Reckon, and if you have the density and density units defined, it will automatically calculate the tonnage uh, or the weight of uh, that ma that material, that stockpile material. So let's go ahead and add those. Density. Okay. Density UNT. And just to mention before I get out of this, there's different types that you can use here too. So if it's just a number that you're adding, you just want it to uh, be an integer, you can you can choose that here. So click OK. All right, let's go ahead and click OK here. Now let's, again, let's right click on volume up here and go to feature analyst. Uh, you can see those columns that I've added. So I can um, just double click, just click in these. And now I can define this. So let's say this is pile uh, one for our stockpile material description. Let's say um, it had a specific code, maybe uh, 9871, something like this. Just something that uh, someone uh, either internally or externally with the company associates uh, uh, with that pile so they'll know the type of material it is, something like that. It could even be something like uh, sand or uh, crushed wrap, something like that. That's a common for asphalt companies, that's a common thing that they'll define. Okay. Now for density, um, uh, let's say I know the density in pounds per cubic foot. So let's say the, the density of this material is, is 100 pounds per cubic foot. And now I'm just going to go ahead and define that. So uh, I'm clicking in these these uh, fields and just uh, defining them. If you had a bunch of uh, stockpiles, you could just click in all of them and, and define them that way. Um, so uh, we've got our pile name. Uh, we've got uh, our volume. So we're not going to change that, obviously. Uh, material description, density, and density units. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm also going to, you need to make sure that you say this, what we're doing is we are actually editing the feature. We're not maybe editing the extents of the um, uh, polygon, uh, but we are um, changing the attributes. We're editing the attributes of the feature. So uh, this is technically a feature edit. So we need to save it or discard it or undo it. I'm going to go ahead and save it. You can see this little um, floppy disk icon here in the top left. I'm going to confirm it. So now uh, I can use Publisher Client with Reckon, uh, upload uh, this feature. Let's see what that will look like. Uh, I'm going to just zoom out just a touch. So you can see that stockpile. Uh, I think I just named it one in this example. And you can see that that weight has been automatically calculated. Now let's look at the PDF. This is just the, uh, a PDF report that you can generate and reckon. So you can see here I have my name, have my volume, and now it's got that material. Uh, this is just a, another material code, but the, the, the same uh, concept here. I've got my material code here, um, and it's automatically calculated the weight because I provided the density and density units, and you can see it automatically created this density column over here too. So. Just a review. The schema editor dialog in LP360, it, it will allow you to add and delete and modify your schema fields. So you're, you're basically uh, adding or removing or uh, renaming those columns that you see in the feature analyst. And then, of course, in feature analysts, uh, this is going to allow us to create or modify those newly created attributes so we can uh, you know, add some descriptions like we already did or make any edits that we need to make.